In this video, you're watching the pier of the Hula Hut restaurant go up in flames just after midnight on New Year's Eve. Investigators say a firework ember caused more than $100,000 in damage to the pier. The restaurant does plan to rebuild, but managers say it may take several months. KITV's Catherine Stope talked with the management and waitstaff tonight. And Catherine, I imagine some of those servers very concerned about their jobs right now. That's right, Ron. Well, most of them make their living here at Hula Hut. Problem is that fire burned nearly half of the restaurant's seating sections. And even though management is opening extra dining sections while this pier is rebuilt, some of the 90 servers here are worried it may not be enough. Joel Dixon Keith. It was a devastating reality. A server at Hula Hut for more than five years. It's hard to believe. Sees for the first time where he used to make most of his money. What's next? What do I do now? We want to take care of our employees. We want to take care of the customers. Managers say they hope to have this pier restored before March. So we're doing everything to get everyone to enjoy this place again. But for the next couple months, some servers say they're uneasy about their income. I sustain a living off uh, working at Hula Hut, a lot of people uh, do actually. We're in the struggle together. On a busy night, Keith and nearly 20 servers, bartenders, and bussers. We are family. Worked on this pier, serving up to 225 people at once. We obviously have to cut shifts. Yeah, yeah, so you can walk them all into a taco. The inside area, untouched by the fire and still open, only seats about 200 people. A lot of the staff has been very supportive with each other about. You know, if one person has all inside shifts this week, they're willing to give some up. We're in it together. We, we've got each other to kind of like, you know, talk to and get through this. Management also opened extra outside sections, adding about 80 more seats for dining until the piers yeah. reopening. No, We're hopeful. Keith and the other 150 employees are hoping folks will still come in to perhaps see the fire's aftermath, to dine, and to hopefully tip. Now, crews will most likely start the demolition phase out here by the end of this week. Managers tell me the new pier will look very similar to the old one. It will even have the uh, signature thatch roof that actually caught fire on New Year's Eve. For now, we are live from Lake Austin. Catherine Stolp, KITV News. So who's paying for the reconstruction of the pier? We're told the fireworks company, American Fireworks, that was hired to put on the show, has accepted responsibility for the fire. Managers tell us it looks like insurance should cover most everything. 